everyone. Just continuing some progress I've made on this postie. First of all is I've put under a chain guard. All I did was drill a hole into this sprocket cover. But I had to cut the tab that goes down off because the chain would rub on it. I've um, just put a pit bike carby on, 24mm, I don't know what jetting it has and it can't change that air to fuel, only the idle and um, I've used the pit bike cable, but this one has a little bit of slack in it and I don't know what it's off. As for the pit bike cable has a 4mm fuel input so I've put 4mm line from the tank to here and I plan to put separate taps on to um, shut off main and reserve. I've also got a clutch cable now it's a 980mm one this ten dollar cable with seventy mil of travel, and that's about all I need because there's only a little bit of travel for the clutch anyway to engage and disengage. I've also just used a uh, universal handle. Works quite well, but I need to get rid of this old mount to be able to position it nicer. Um, another tr problem I had was with the spring, it kept falling off, off the original mount, so I've got a shorter one and put it off the bolt I've used to mount the Zongshen engine on. I've um, just got a pit bike exhaust with just a XR clamp holding the muffler on. Uh, might get something custom made so I can put the side panel back on and the problem I had was this engine was producing too much volts and kept blowing the parker and headlight so what I've had to do is from the plug I've ran it to the black wire off your key so it's running off regulated power now and the unregulated wire travels all the way around into the voltage regulator here but I've left it a female on this end so if you were to put a posty engine in you can basically plug that into there and have your original wiring but that's got the headlight system running through it at the moment because the, there's a brown wire uh, it's soldered onto the yellow wire that runs through the system for unregulated power and it will blow headlights off this engine's magneto anyway. Um, I haven't wired up the starter motor yet because I've been lazy. It's kickstart and it's really easy to start and I guess in this video I can start it so you can see how it goes so with the key on also point out the lights come on because they're wired up through the regulated power now so let me just check it's in neutral which I've, I think I said I wired up in the last video shouldn't need any throttle Idles quite smoothly. Quite a bit of slack in it. But yeah. Quite a punchy engine too. Shuts off with the engine shut off. And the key. Yeah. It's a bit quicker than a postie, but the uh, 
top speed isn't much different. So, I mean, it's quite fun to take off in. And I popped a wheelie today on accident because of how short this clutch travel is. But, uh, yeah, just um, a few things to top up on and that's about it.